This video was sponsored by me. Join the Discord server, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description down below. Help make a lonely boy feel whole again. So f***ing cringe. Hey, what's up guys? It's Chubby here and welcome back to a brand new gosh darn video on the internet trying not to get demonetized. But anyways, guys, today we're going to be checking out three popular Twitch streamers CSGO inventories and we're going to be giving them inventory reviews. So I guess without further ado, let's get right into it. So today, guys, we're going to be checking out three Twitch streamers inventories. We have Shroud, Summit1G and your boy Jason R. So let's get right into Shroud. So starting off, Shroud has a bunch of just random skins from case openings because Shroud is, he just loves doing case openings like straight up. So he just has lots and lots of pages of just random skins he unboxed over the years. But this is where things will start getting pretty crazy. Once we get past all the skins he's unboxed, we'll be able to actually get to his play skins like his stat track, bayonet, black laminate, minimal wear. Plus, you can't forget about his pair of superconductor gloves, his factory new AK Bloodsport, his factory new Oni Taiji, just all the skins you could really hope for in a shroudy rowdy inventory. Plus a stat track M9 bayonet freehand and here's where things start getting crazy and we're gonna hop in game to check these out all right boys and this is a stat track m9 bayonet lore and it is really clean considering it's it's minimal wear with a pretty average float i mean overall like the only wear you can really see is on the handle and, and considering you always hold it on the handle i don't think it really matters at all so yeah this is a really clean knife and of course you also can't forget about his stat track m9 bayonet ruby factory new with a 0 0.01 float now it's not completely perfect like there's some scratches here and like on the spine but there's always going to be scratches on this area of the knife like so for the most part this is relatively clean just because like overall it's there aren't really any scratches on the actual like skin itself right here they're just on the places where there's always scratches but overall though this is a ridiculous csgo knife and anybody would be super lucky to own one of these moving on though he also has like just a bunch of p2000s and a bunch of just random skins we're mostly just looking for the highlights here's his field tested stat track huntsman knife crimson web he has a battle scarred medusa he has a bayonet doppler minimal wear a karambit case hardened stat track minimal wear uh not a blue gem by the way i did check a karambit damascus steel well worn and moving on to the next page he also has a factory new poseidon a bunch of souvenir skins plus a stat track fire serpent minimal wear called the spray quaza and you guys know this skin you guys know the ak shroud has been rocking this as his main ak for such a long time like he has 187,000 frags with it like that's that's ridiculous like, that's insane it's just really cool that shroud has always used the fire serpent i mean i think there are better the fire serpent gets a bad rap like a lot of people think it's like super ugly and it looks like the default AK, but i think it looks really cool like just the overall design of it is super clean it has like it's you know it's colorful it's cool and it still kind of looks like the default AK, but a modified version of the default AK, which is never bad in my opinion. People just hate on the Fire Serpent way too much. Well, I guess because it's so expensive, but it's really rare. Like, it's in the Bravo collection, dude. Like, <laughs> anyways, moving on, he also has a Stat Track Desert Eagle Crimson Web field tested, plus a Karambit Marble Fade called the Karambay. And we're going to hop right into it. Fun fact this is a Fire and Ice with a 0 0.01 float. So the corner is actually pretty good. And uh, I did some research and this is a fifth max. So not really like not super high tier, but not crappy either. It's like, it's kind of a mid range fire and ice. And these go for like, I don't know, like $1,500 or something. They're probably more. I don't know the exact prices of all the fire and ices, but this is a really cool karambit. Of course, you can't forget about, about his shrowl. He also has a, he has a howl, a stat track minimal wear howl. In my opinion, I think the howl is one of the best M4 skins in the entire game not because it's like super rare well i guess partially because of that but also just because of its design like i feel like the howl has one of the best designs out of any skin in the game plus it's also incredibly rare as well so i guess that adds a couple extra points to it moving on though moving on he has more skins a stat track minimal wear, hyper beast a minimal wear tech nine nuclear threat a field tested dragon lore called i bought this drunk and of course we're going to check it out in game because i feel like if i'm going to check out the skins we might as well actually check them out in game right and inspect them and like because that makes the video more fun in my opinion i think showing the skins in game makes the video just a lot better you know you're not just looking at a little picture of the skin you're actually looking at how what it actually looks like in game so this is his field tested dragon lore obviously the thing that i really don't like about field tested dragon lores and lower condition dragon lores is the fact that they get really scratched up like this is field tested and there's scratches everywhere <laughs> it's like someone tried to take this dragon 
Dragonlore and like throw it under the bus or something, like literally. Regardless, it's still a Dragonlore. It's still a really dank skin. 99% of people who play CSGO could never afford a Dragonlore. And that's the crazy thing about it. All right, he also has a bunch of other skins and stickers and all that. Plus, he is quarterfinalist at ESL1 Cologne 2014 trophy. Oh, baby. So for the inventory review, I think I'm going to give Shroud. I'm going to give Shroud a solid 9 out of 10. Because he has the fire and ice, he has the ruby, like the howl, Patrick fire serpent, the dragon lore, all that, the medusa too. Just a overall solid 9 out of 10. Next inventory. Next up guys, we're going to be checking out Summit's inventory. So let's 1G into the molly. <laughs> all right, so this is Summit's inventory and the first page isn't really that crazy. But when you go to page number two, there is a pair of specialist glove foundations field tested, plus a stat track, you know, USPS Neo Noir. You know, one of my favorite USPSs in the game. I actually kind of use this as my main play skin. On page number three, there's nothing really of value. There's nothing really too crazy. There's some Hyper Beasts and like, I guess there's a Stat Track Vulcan. That's still a pretty valuable skin. On page number four, there is a Stat Track M9 Bayonet Scorched Field Tested. These are very common and these are heavily duped. So yeah, not very valuable. <laughs> he also has a Karambit Gamma Doppler. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I believe this is probably like a phase three or a phase four or it could be... I, I, I honestly don't know the phases. I just know it's like the phase two is one of the best besides the emerald. But yeah, I guess this, this one's like mostly. Oh, this is cool, though. It's kind of like a lightish blue. That is actually so cool. What if you could get a Gamma Doppler that was just only this color right here without the green? Just all like teal or wh whatever this color is. If you guys know what phase it is, just let me know in the comments down below. Because I do not know anything about Gamma Doppler phases. I, I know a little bit about like normal Doppler phases. But when it comes to Gamma Dopplers, I just draw a blank. Moving on though, he also has a M9 Bayonet Fade. And of course, we're going to check it out in game two just to check out the fade. And yes, boys, it is a... I don't know if it's a 100% fade, but... There's some blue on it, so it's a really high percentage fade, which is always really cool. I don't know, it's like 90 to 100% fade, maybe. Moving on to page number six, he, he has this Battle Scar Dragon Lore and his Bowie Knife Fade. We're gonna check out the Dragon Lore. We're gonna check out the Dragon Lore because it's a freaking Dragon Lore. Like, we, 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 we can't just look at, we can't just look past it, we have to check it out. So, this is it right here, a 0.59 float Battle Scar Dragon Lore with a couple stickers on it. And overall, it looks, it low-key kind of looks nasty just because it's so Battle Scarred, but it's still a Dragon Lore, so it's still like an insane skin overall. Anyways, let's speed this up. So he also has a Flip Knife Case Hard and Well Worn, as well as a bunch of skins, a Bowie Knife Vanilla, a Bayonet Vanilla, a Bayonet Ultraviolet, a Bayonet Urban Mast, so multiple Bayonets, Two Deagle Blaze Factory News just in a row, because why not, right? He just wants to flex on everyone. Good old Summit. Summit 1G. Factory New Op Hyper Beast. Factory New Stat Track Op Graphite. Here's a field tested Hydroponic with a Factory New Op Lightning Strike. Uh, a field tested Flip Knife Boreal Forest. A field tested M9 Bayonet Scorched. So your boy Summit just has a lot of knives. He has so many. Plus just a bunch of random skins, presumably from either case openings or just, you know, skins he's just collected over the years. Yeah, he also has like stickers, cases, like, and you can't forget about the, the uh, ESL Cologne 2014 Challengers capsules from 2014, back when he used to play a lot more. Actually, wait, no, that's not possible because he has an Elige Columbus 2016 sticker. So clearly, I'm just like looking too deep into it. But yeah, overall, he has multiple Asimovs as well, a Dragon King, Op Boom, Op Hyper Beast, a another, another M4 Hyper Beast, another Op Asimov, an M4 Asimov, another Op Hyper Beast. Your boy Summit has so many duplicate skins, but I guess that's pretty typical for a streamer slash YouTuber. And of course, you can't forget about his stat track, AK-47 Case Hard and Well Worn. This is honestly really sick because number one, it's a stat track blue gem. And number two, look at that booty. It's so, it's so gold. <laughs> that booty is straight gold, bro. No, but honestly though, this is a pretty sick, I, I believe it's a tier two pattern. It could be a tier one, but I'm not, I don't think so though. This looks more of like a, a tier two blue gem than like a tier one, but obviously correct me if I'm wrong. All right. And then he has a, he has another page of just souvenir stuff and another page of souvenir stuff and random stuff. And so these are two highlight skins that I wanted to definitely check out. The Stat Track Desert Eagle Crimson Web Factory New, one of the most expensive deagles in the game. One of the most expensive deagles in the game. And the reason why it's so expensive is because it's rare. Like I believe the minimum float value you can get for a Crimson Web is like 0 0.06. So you have between 0 0.06 and 0 0.06 seven to actually get a factory new crimson web like normally with factory new skins it can go into like the doubles triples quadruples like there can be multiple zeros but on here the absolute lowest float you can get is 0 0.06 you have like around a one percent chance to get a crimson web anything 
in factory new. Actually, it's a little, I think it's a little bit more than a 1% chance, but eh, whatever. And on top of all that, for it to be stat track, it also needs to be 10 times rarer. So if you unbox a Desert Eagle Crimson Web, you have a one in a 1000 chance to get a stat track factory new one. So that's why they're so expensive. And this might be one of the craziest skins in his entire inventory. The Souvenir M401S Nitro Battle Scarred from the 2013 DreamHack Steel Series CSGO Championship. Basically, this was a skin from the first event that had drops for CSGO. This was before Katowice 2014, because obviously it happened in 2013. No, like you don't see these all the time. And whenever you do see one, it's just, it's crazy. Because it has this weird, like there's no gold stickers on it. It has just this weird dream hack sticker. Anyways, guys, let's get on to the inventory review for your boy Summit. So basically he has a dragon lore. He has so many skins. He has an AK blue gem, multiple knives, multiple just really cool, awesome skins. But it's... It's not quite as insane as Shroud's. Like, he has one Dragon Lore. He doesn't really have a Howl. Like, eh. So, overall, I'm going to give Summit 1G. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. So, still a good score, but not quite up to the same level as Shroud. But, anyways, guys, next streamer, next inventory. And guys, the last inventory today is Jason R. You guys know him as that guy who played in one CSGO tournament, and now he's a streamer on Twitch. I'm also a streamer on Twitch. Follow me, guys. Twitch.tv forward slash Motion Z. <laughs> I mean, hey, the streams are fun. But anyways, though, that's that's irrelevant from what we're here to talk about. This is Jason R's inventory. On the first page, he has a stat track M4, the Emperor. Just a dope 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 skin and then on page number two this is where stuff starts getting really crazy he has a pair of field tested hand wrap cobalt skulls gloves which are some of my favorite gloves in the game plus a pair of sports glove omegas with a m9 bayonet lore minimal wear and we're going to check this out real quick to see if it looks good or not real quick though this glove and this knife look so good together. Like, it's one of the best combinations so this is his m9 bayonet lore and it's a 0.12 float and it looks incredibly clean i don't see anything wrong with this knife right here like it is just flawless so i guess it goes to show that as long as it's not a karambit lore if you get it in minimal wear it's gonna look good he also has a huntsman knife marble fade factory new and a m9 bayonet fade factory new moving on to the next page he has three gamma doppler he has three gut knife gamma dopplers in a row for some reason a usps minimal wear kill confirmed a field tested fire servant with the nickname ugly i don't think it's ugly but i guess jason i can disagree he has the gut knife marble fade Ooh, and of course i guess he also does have an ak blue laminate with a titan ketoids 2014 sticker not a hollow, but but still. Now, to be fair though, that's really common because this was one of the this is one of the best AKs at the time when like the Katowice 2014 capsule came out. So there's a lot of blue lambs with Katos, and I mean a lot. But whatever though, regardless, he also has a M41S hot rod, two fire serpents in a row, one containing a crown of foil sticker. I believe it's on wood as well. A souvenir MP7 fade minimal wear, a bayonet Doppler factory new. Moving on. He has a bunch of stickers, including his own stickers. Well, I guess if I had my own sticker in the game, I would I would want like a billion of them. <laughs> On page number six, he has his factory new dragon lore. We have to check it out. There's there's no way. It's a dragon lore. Like, what else can you say? I mean, it's not like the corner right here is pretty bad, but I mean, it's factory new. Who cares, right? He also has a Karambit Crimson Wood field tested, a butterfly knife sapphire factory new. We have to check this out, dude. I feel like the butterfly knife rubies and sapphires are some of the best rubies and sapphires in the game. Not because it's like a crazy over the top cool knife, but because of its animation. So I definitely want to try to get my hands on another one of these in the future, but they're just really hard to trade for because they're not really on CS money. And that's my only place where I know where to get skins. So I might try to like trade with someone. But yeah, overall though, it is, it's pretty clean. 0 0.01 float. And of course, we, we got to check this out in game. He has a Desert Eagle Cobalt Disruption with three Kato <laughs> Hollows. Oh my. This is just, I mean, I wish it was a better condition, but still, this is insane. There's a Vox Eminor Hollow. There's a I Buy Power Hollow. And then a Titan Hollow, all from Katowice 2014. So like... $20,000 worth of stickers on like a $7 skin. Moving on though, he has a Bowie Knife Doppler, he has an M4 Neo Noir, a Stat Track Field Tested AK Fire Serpent, a USPS Neo Noir, an Op Graphite. Moving on, moving on. More, a bu you know, bunch of cases, bunch of skins, M Stat Track M4 Golden Coil, a Team Liquid sticker plus an Astral sticker, bunch of random skins and cases, and here's his Butterfly Knife Black Pearl. And as you can see, it has a lot of green so also there's a little bit of blue too and then the purple 
But honestly, I think the even the Black Pearl Butterfly Knife still looks pretty dope. Dude, there's so much stuff in his inventory. Like, Jason R has a lot of cool stuff. He has the Stat Track AK Blue Lemonade with a I Buy Power Cado non hollow and then there's like two crown foil stickers on it too so pretty cool he has a field tested fire serpent a stat track minimal wear ak the empress he also has his stat track 57 case harden and we got to check this out too and of course we have to check it out because it is a blue gem a tier one 57 blue gem just pretty much all blue on both sides it is super nice too bad people don't really use the 57 that much so it's not really that great but i mean regardless it's still a freaking blue gem and did i mention blue jump he has a glock fade he has a stat track huntsman knife knight factory new by the way these are very very rare uh because of the same reason of the crimson webs because you only have like a one percent chance to actually get a huntsman knife knight or a knight skin in factory new and just like the crimson web from summit's inventory if you if you unbox a huntsman knife knight there is a one in one thousand chance to get it in stat track factory new so these go for quite a bit. I mean, not as much as like Karambits or M9s, but these are still very pricey. He also has a pair of minimal wear sports glove, hedge maze gloves, a pair of, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then two Karambit case hard minimal wears, and I'll show you both of them right now. So this is the first one. And this one is the backside blue gem. I believe it's a tier one. The pattern index for this is 859. So if you want to look that up, that's just, that's what the pattern index is or the pattern template. And it's pretty much an almost full blue backside blue gem. But if backside blue gems aren't really your cup of tea, he also has a frontside blue gem, which is also a tier one. That's actually kind of cool that he has one backside blue gem and then one playside blue gem. So he has kind of both. But obviously, if he did get the Hiko pattern, like 169 or whatever it is, 269, whatever the Hiko pattern is, then it's kind of like the best of both worlds. But they're also very hard to find. He also has a tier one factory new AK case hardened blue gem, number 179, pretty much. The, I mean, it's not quite a scar pattern, but the top has a lot of blue on it. Not too much right here on the barrel. And then there's a little bit on the mag. I mean, overall, it's not as good as like the scar pattern or anything, but it's still a tier one pattern. And it's still, you know, it's still a really, really cool blue gem. Okay, so th sorry, there's just so much stuff on this one page. I also want to show you guys the AK-47 Vanilla Jaguar, just because it's a, it has a 0.99 float. Like this is super battle scarred, but I think it looks better because of it because it's missing like all the paint right here on the it's missing all the paint on the barrel it's missing all the paint on the on the mag it just seems it just i don't know it's so weird and just imagine if he put an eye by power hollow on this and made it a pink panther that would truly be a one of one skin that would be so unique and so cool this is this is regardless of what you have to say like this is still a really cool super unique skin that you probably will never see ever again i mean you might see it but it's yeah AK Jaguars with really low floats are relatively rare. All right, moving on, moving on though. He has a bunch of other skins. He has a Stat Trek AK Redline with two crown foils, a complexity and an I buy power non holo from Katowice 2014. More skins, a Desert Eagle Blaze, a factory new Howl. We're going to check it out, dude. Like, by the way, guys, just let me know if you enjoy the videos more when I check out more of the high tier skins in game to actually give you guys a peek of like or to show you guys what they look like. Like, I feel like the two SK stickers right here kind of ruin the howl. So if they were like, if one of them was back here and the other one was just gone, I think it would be much better. But I mean, it does have the Howling Dawn sticker though, which if you have a Howling Dawn sticker on a howl, you know what, you know what's up. He does have an m 41 s though as well, plus a factory new P250 whiteout, not too expensive. Like the MP7 whiteout is like $500, $600. This is like maybe $20, $30. Another fire statement, this one is minimal wear and just a bunch of skins, stickers, cases, you know, what, whatever. Just stuff that pretty much everyone has in their inventory. And that's essentially it for his inventory. So overall, Jason R has some pretty crazy stuff. He has blue gems. He has a factory new dragon lore. He has fire serpents, howls. Like he has black pearls. He has sapphire. He has black pearls, sapphires, like multiple fire serpents, I should mention. So many different knives and just so many high tier skins. Honestly, guys, I think because of the caddos, the blue gems, the, the high tier Dopplers, I'm going to give Jason R a 10 out of 10 for the inventory review anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh don't worry guys i have more youtuber slash twitch streamer slash collector inventory videos coming out in the future i even have one where i'm going to check out more of your inventories too so don't worry guys those videos are going to keep coming out but i also want to try to focus on making different types of content i mean i guess that's why i switched over to twitch because like on twitch i actually get to play games if you guys want to come to the stream and come hang out with me and just 
you know, have a good time, just push.tv forward slash turbomotion Z. Uh, also, join our Discord server too. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon. And if you watch the video all the way until the end, leave a comment saying hashtag Jason, hashtag Summit, or hashtag Shroud had the best inventory. And if you do that, I'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart. And just overall, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for being a part of the Turbo Nation. And if you haven't already joined the Discord, join the Discord. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.